Hello, and today I'm going to be headed out in the wild. As you can see, I named it Wild, and I'm going to be headed out there. This has never been done before by any human being or pixelated human. I will be surviving one week, or maybe more, possibly more, depending on if I want to out in the wild. Now, as you can see, this world, oh crap, this world is quite big and we will have a lot of time to do things. Now I'm going to start here by walking over to some trees because I'm going to need some supplies. It will be tough living out here. Now, as you can see, I'm going to be beating down these trees with pure brute strength, if possible. This is very hard on the hands. I don't know if I'm going to be able to survive out here. Now as you can see what I've started to do is I've just wanted to make uh, myself a little shelter so I can survive this night. Which is all I really need to do is survive the day. Now, judging by the position of the sun, I can find it. Come out sun wherever you are. There you are. Just by the position of sun. Here is about noon. It's probably about 8 o'clock a.m. What the hell? What is this witchcraft? Oh my gosh. The gods, they're angry with me. Well, I think I'm gonna build a house right by that because. It's nice and warm, it'll keep me snug during the night. So let's see if we can find some flat ground. Probably not, so I'm just gonna build it here. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna start off by building myself some wooden planks. Very helpful for the night. And we'll begin with putting them in about a square pattern this should be big enough for now oh crap it should be good Alright, there's a the foundation, and we're going to need to get some more supplies. I'm going to start by building myself an axe. Because out in the wild, you never know what's going to come get you. As you can see, I'm going to need to make some sticks first. And followed by these sticks is about a pattern that is like, yay. This should be enough to build myself an axe. Now that I've built my axe, I'm going to start cutting down some trees. Now I don't have to use my... Pure boot strength, muscle, knuckles to bring down the tree. Oh look, a sapling. This will be good for the future if I ever need some more supplies.
now. This is a good tree, you see this? Because it has multiple multiple wood blocks in it. It'll be good to cut down. Let's see here's a flower. Now I really have to preserve my energy. Because you never know what's going to come out and get you. Yeah, this is probably good for now because I'm a lazy bum and I don't want to go up there. Oh, look at all those chickens. Oh, look at the sapling. Now, because I'm so greedy, I'm going to have to get this wood block. Now let's head over back to our campsite. Now as you can see here I'm going to have to make some more wood planks. Got a whole bunch this time. And I'm going to build my roof a little bit higher. Because I'm going to need some protection. Now, as you can see, the shape of my house will be perfect for blocking out um, anything that tries to get me either during the night or maybe even during the day. Because them, them chickens, they... Oh. Did you guys hear that? Oh. It's just a chicken. Guess again. Just don't know what to do. It's scary out here in the night. So I've heard stories about many people who've come out here and have not made it out. But I'm here today to show you guys that it's possible. Now as you can see I am out here alone. No one, no friends, no nothing. And I just don't know how I'm going to make it out alive. This should be a good shelter for now. Perfect for keeping out the baddies. <coughs> oh crap. And now as you can see here I'm gonna have to break myself out of the doorway. And go cut myself some more trees. That is a big ass tree. And go up there and cut the rest of that. Oh, more saplings. These will be good for the future. Now, somehow I have to jump from there to there, and it's a long way down. So here we go, Maybe let's just make sure I can make it. Oh crap, can't even stand up, let alone jump. Alright, here we go. Oh, leap of faith, and I made it. Fantastic. Getting the rest of this tree that I said I wouldn't get, I lied. It happens. Now let's see, is it a long way down? No, it's not. It's not the right spot. Let's see here. Here we go. Perfect. So much fat loot. <coughs> oh crap, I think I broke a lag. That's okay. Because I'm just that strong and manly. Now I better check the time. See, see how much time or uh, daylight I have left. Yeah, night should fall soon. I may as well quickly make some more some more wooden planks. I just want to give you guys a quick explanation of why I position my house here. As you can see I have this lava here, it provides me with some warmth, 
should be really good. And it has some stone if I ever need to add those supplies. And right here is nice open water. I can see what's coming at me at any given time. And I'm sure I will go explore later on. Now. Crap. As you can see, I'm building a roof over my house. I'm going to need this. In case the environment decides to turn on my oh crap, as you can see, my axe soon break, and I don't know what I'm gonna do. Sunsets and night falls. I'm gonna have to quickly make myself a door. As you can see, it's a fully functioning working door. It just kind of closes on me. But that's okay. Now, yeah. it's done to become night. And as you can see, this is the only light source I have. It's going to be a hard, cold night. And I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm gonna move my workbench. No, I'll leave my workbench there. It's probably not the smartest thing to do, but we're just gonna quickly get a good idea of the land. Oh, there's the bamboo. This would be really good for eating in the future. I will definitely save that. As you can see, there's a lot of water out here in the wild. And I'm jumping tree to tree like Spider Man. Now gonna have to remember that my house is over there. It's towards the moon. Remember that. Oh, there's a cow. Now, we got a hive right here. There's two of them. Now, I'm gonna have to sneak up on them. Because I don't know if we're gonna be able to do it. Oh, he's, I think he saw me. Go charge! Kill the cow! Kill the cow! We want your meat! Come here, cow. Thank you. Hi. Yes, this will be good for warmth to make a good blanket. Oh my god, this, the, the screams, the crying. I don't know what to do. But I need to survive out here in the wild. Tonight, we dine. <coughs> oh, crap, that hurt my legs. Oh my gosh. This night falls again. I just don't know how I'm going to survive. May as well cut up a couple of trees while I'm out here. Just so I can make myself a pickaxe. Maybe mine some of this stone. Now I have nine saplings, this should be more than enough. Definitely, definitely gonna need to plant some trees. Plant, there we go. Plant one up here. It's out here in the wild. You never know what's gonna come out and get you. More saplings, you'd be really good for the future, my friends. Difficult days out here in the wild. The trees definitely provide good protection. Allows me to get materials for my house. And it also provides shelter from anything that's coming at me. Now we haven't run into any bodies yet, but I'm sure they'll come out in the future. Now let's see the moon. Where is it at? It's almost in the middle, so it's almost 12. It's be hard. It's a very hard day. I'm tired, I'm thirsty, and I'm cold. 
I definitely need to get some sleep soon. As you can see, there's just a random block in the middle of nowhere. And I'm just gonna pick at that. Let's see. As you can see over there, there's a couple of mountains that has some more supplies. And here's some cactus. This definitely provides some good cactus juice. I'm gonna hit it with my raw hide. Watch the nail break. It's be really, really good for cactus. Do two things: they can provide me good protection, or they can even be a good source of food. Now, I'll get a couple more. I'm definitely gonna need it. As you can see, there's a lot of sand out here in the wild. It's a long, long desert. Because out here in the wild, you never know what's going to come get you. Now, I, I placed my house really good. It's really lucky that I found that. Because as you can see out in the distance, right there where my arrow thing is pointing, my crosshair, you can see the light of where my house would be. That lava really brightens it up. Definitely keeps away the bad monsters for now, at least. Be really good for defense. Maybe I soon make a bucket and I'll be able to make myself a good old moat. Now, I'm gonna have to swim. Oh gosh, this is cold, very cold. And there's the moon. In about, let's say, a one, two. Three, four, five, six, it's about whatever time I said that was. And soon I will be done, and the sun will rise. And I'll be able to do whatever I need to do to survive out here. For now I'm going to go back, and I'm going to have a rest, so I need my energy for tomorrow. Once again, I just want to point out that it's it's cold out here in the wild. Really cold. Alright. This has been day one out in the wild. As you can see I'm going to make myself a nice little sand bed. It is cold out here in the wild. This has been day one out in the wild.